Hello everyone, this is The Lone Knight back again with another toy review and today I am going to be doing something that isn't Batman or Sonic related and that is going to be on the Dragon Ball Super Dragon Stars Frieza and his first form figure and um, I believe this is the second version of Frieza and his first form because there is actually a version of a Frieza that is I that I I have that um that I remember he didn't have his um mouth open but that's okay I actually kind of like this this expression on Frieza a lot more I think it sort of fits his sadistic nature anyway so yeah this is the the box right here as you can see this one says Dragon Ball Super and this is the Dragon Star series. Frieza in his first form, and there's Frieza inside with his death ball beam. Machine. Dragon stars here. Now I yeah um, yeah. Now this is something I sort of forgot to do in, in my Batman um, videos where there was actually a logo on top. But um, yeah, there's I forgot to check the, the top. But here's the top of this right here, Dragon Star series. Here on the side you have. The, the same thing, the logo, Dragon Ball Super, on the bottom, Frieza's first form. Okay, let's see. And this right here is a, this right here shows you the image of Frieza. Nice little image right there. I really like that a lot. And here's the back, right there. And this one says, um, learn more, okay, and I uh, joke. Okay, this information on the website, what if you want to learn more. And this is the image, nice little image of Frieza right here. It's pretty cool, I really like that. Okay. Okay, so here's the, all right, so this is it. So yeah, so, so this is the box. So now let's, um, so now let's remove him out of the box and see what he like, and what he's like. So here he is out of the box, and I would say uh, as for for being the very first, for being my very first Frieza figure, and yes, that is true. Um, which I know it sounds rather cliche for me to say at this point, because as I mentioned in my previous reviews, you know, like um, in my Selita Kyle, that this was my first Catwoman um, figure, and then in my um, in my recent Sonic the Hedgehog video, I said this was my very first standard Sonic the Hedgehog figure. But, yeah, but all those things I mentioned is true. This is my very first Freezer figure, as well as the others I haven't mentioned. And as someone who has been a lifelong fan, I did not get that many figures of the ones in Dragon Ball, or Dragon Ball Z, to be more accurate. Um, but whenever I do get figures, and like what I said with with my um, Selena Kyle figure review, I just get Goku. <laughs> yeah. You know, obviously, but um, now that is not to say that I don't get anything else. In fact, my very first Dragon Ball Z figure review, uh, my, very, my very first Dragon Ball Z figure I got was a Super Saiyan Goku and a Majin Buu figure. And the reason why I got this is because I was very little with the knowledge of Dragon Ball Z at the time. And um, I wanted something to fight alongside with my Super Saiyan Goku figure, and I end up with the with Majin Buu. But if I had the knowledge as I do today, I would not have gotten that. I would have gotten, um, I would have gotten either Freezer or Cell. And considering that Cell is my favorite Dragon Ball Z villain anyway, I would have gotten him regardless. Um, anyway, but yeah, so this is um, the figure. This is um, the figure of Freeze in his first form. And yeah, like I said, and um, when I talked about the box, I do think that this is a more better um, a more fitted expression of Frieza, just to you know, just it just that it just captures his more menace, his more you know sadistic, evil nature of of. Of who he is, of his character, I thought I think that was a, yeah, I really do like that, and um, this thing it does remove, um, which is his um, death ball, death beam, and it was, yeah, and um, yeah, so the figure does have articulations. His head can rotate three hundred sixty degrees, 
his arms can move up and down i would say it also does a 360 degrees but because of because of this getting in the way it would um you know it wouldn't go that far his t yeah his legs obviously move so does his knee as well and there's ball joints on his um actually yeah there's ball joints on his hands and a little on his feet not too much his elbows move right here all right like this all right okay and his tail moves as well you know in terms of what type of angle you want it and yeah. yeah and unfortunately if i don't think um the scouter he has i don't think it's removable i don't I think you could remove that. Yeah, it's glued in there. So yeah, if if, if for those who want want to know if this thing could um if you could remove a scouter, well you're out of luck. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean this is first form freeze after all, he's most likely recognizable with his scouter on anyway. Yeah. So um and that's the articulations right here. So the I'm gonna get with some of the accessories that he comes with. So as mentioned, um, he does come with a few accessories um, that is, of course, interchangeable hands, and most of which are from his right side, which only one that comes from his left side, as you can see right here. You can see right here. These three over there are very much on his right hand side, and this one is for his left hand. And then I'll show you each of them, each of them and where they go um, in each clip. So this right here is another is an extra fist that he could use to match with the other fist. And I would probably use this. And if I were to pose it with two fists, I would have it with his where his hands are tied behind his back, which is how he usually puts his hands behind his back with his two fists colliding. I think that was kind of This is kind of an odd one for me. I don't understand what um this one is supposed to represent. Is that supposed to be if he were to do his death beam because the um, because the accessory because the the one i got is used for because the the other one is obviously used for his death ball but um yeah this this one kind of confused me um please leave a comment let me know what it is um as you can tell there's another one that points out but it's but it was pointing out with its with his thumb sticking out. Um, yeah, yeah, this one kind of confuses me. I don't understand what this one is. So I would like, like for you to know, um, for you to leave a comment. Let me know what that, what that's supposed to represent. Now this right here is my favorite of the interchangeable hands because, as you can tell, he is posing that iconic image where he, where you show his menace of his like you know craving for more power and such like that. This is a very nice. Um, way to display him if you want um now unfortunately i have him leaning against the wall here because it's um because sometimes he because you know it's very hard to stand on its own at times but yeah i really do like this shot right here i think it's yeah i would say of the interchangeable hands i think this is definitely my favorite and it further adds to um and it further helps with the expression that he has you know so yeah i'm definitely glad i got this version over the other one and as for our size comparison, here is Frieza next to a base form Goku version two, um, and it's very and it's a pretty accurate um, depiction of how you would expect for these two to to go up next to one another. It's very, and here he is next to version two of Super Saiyan Goku in um, series three version. And lastly, here he is next to the Super Saiyan Goku version one in series one. I would not hesitate to say that this is definitely a recommendation. If you love the um, old school Dragon Ball Z, fig if you love the old school Dragon Ball Z, and um, especially love something like, say, the Namek Saga, the Freezer Saga, this is definitely a must-have for those who, who wants to add it into their collection. I mean, I'm certainly happy to finally get a, a, a Dragon Ball Z villain that I actually like. Um, so, um, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, this is this is the figure. I do hope to get um, more. I was hoping I might get a um, a final form Frieza, and maybe I will get like um, a cell 
usually in a, either in a semi or perfect form. Doesn't matter to me. I I really do love that character. Um, yeah. So um, yeah, yeah. If you are a fan of Dragon Ball Z, this is definitely a must-have. I highly, highly recommend this. All right. So take care, and I'll be um, doing more real soon.